Well, good morning. It is I think it's Saturday, February the 4th today. Not a lot going on today. Not a lot going on this weekend. Like that. Brake lines are all done on the truck. But chasing a new problem now. This thing's getting really, really poor fuel mileage. So I've uh, I have no engine lights on. The truck runs great. What we're gonna do is we're gonna check the air filter. And according to this, I don't know what that means. We're gonna check it and see how bad it is. But uh, we'll have a look. It's got an indicator on there. I don't know if that means it's good or if once once that I don't know if once that goes up it gets bad. I have no idea. But I think that means change it. But who knows if that's even working. We're gonna pop this off and see what the filter looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's safe to say that this fucking thing is clogged right the hell up. Look at that shit. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this fucking thing here, I don't know if it only works when it's sucking air, probably. Maybe I should have turned it on and see, to see. But maybe I'll put it back in and screw everything back on, turn the truck on, and then see, uh, see what this fucking gauge reads. Oh, well, there you go guys, all new fucking lines. The uh, copper nickel or whatever the hell you want to call them. And then all the way through, all the way up. So, yeah, we're good to go now. I just found another problem here. It looks like that the, uh, where the drive shaft comes out of the front diff, looks like I got a seal going there. She's leaking a bit. And it looks like I have a oil leak. Some of it's coming from the filter by the looks of it. And I don't know, I gotta take that inspection plate off because it looks like there might be a little bit of oil coming out of the, uh, hopefully it's not the rear main, but I don't know. We'll pop that open and have a look inside. Well, finally some good news. It appears to be dry in there. So, wow, surprised about that. Anyway. So I literally just fucking tightened that oil filter by hand, <laughs> so. Like, look at, watch. Oh, it's tight now, but it was loose enough that I could, without any sort of force whatsoever, I could tighten that filter. So I'm guessing that that's probably where a leak's coming from. And also we had a leak, we have a leak at the plug, so that probably just needs a new uh, seal, gasket or whatever. I don't know if you just buy a new plug for that, but, and it appears we have a little leak up at that bolt there. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. You know, it's not uncommon to have a fucking oil leak on a truck this old anyway, so I'm not concerned about, you know, having to put a little bit of oil in here and there. But uh, that is definitely something I'm going to have to get taken care of, that seal. And everything else looks good. Drive shaft seal on the transfer case looks good. As you can see, uh, it looks good. When I had my Sierra, Sierra C3, it had a leaky seal there. Not a big job, but... That's not something I really have the means to do here, so I'll just get somebody else to do it. Inspected the fuel lines, they look fine. <laughs> other than other than that section there that the last guy looks like he replaced with some rubber, but there's no leak, there's no smell of fuel. I don't know. But I'm guessing that that uh, air filter indicator gauge, whatever, like it can't be accurate. There's no way, because that filter was terrible. But anyway, I'm gonna open this up again, pull that filter out, Vacuum out because there's like leaves and shit in there in the bottom. Get all that shit out. We'll run over a crappy tire, grab a new filter, put that in. I filled up with fuel. We gotta drive it to my mom's for a visit today, and then we'll, uh, when we get back, we'll fill it up again, and then we'll calculate the fuel mileage and see if it improved at all. Just above half a quart, so we'll throw, grab a quart of oil and we can go and get a new filter. All right, we're off. Actually, I might as well grab those uh, bolts off that trailer too. And when we're over there, I can grab them. 
then I can get my ship working for my trailer again. Oh, uh, let me see, let me see, son of a bitch, woo! These ones. And uh, we're getting the old friggin' Hyundai. Burr. It's cold this morning, minus five Celsius. Well, they didn't have a k in stock, and even if they did, they're fucking $80 for a goddamn filter. So I ended up having to get one of these. 30 bucks, and just grab some oil too, so I can top up the oil, vacuum out that fucking compartment, put the new filter in, come over, top truck up the fuel, head out and do what we're gonna do, and then come back, top it up again, and calculate the fuel mileage and see what we get this time. Yeah, we're back. Again, you can see how nasty this is, you know what I mean? To me, this is dirty. Like, looking between the fins there, like, there's a lot of fucking crap in there. I would assume that you'd, you'd have some airflow restriction. I don't know, maybe, maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. There's what that one looks like, the old one, and that's what it's supposed to look like, so hopefully this gives us a little bit of uh, fuel mileage relief but i don't know we'll see i could be wrong because i did some reading apparently these things can clog right the fuck up before they do much uh or they're restricted much but i don't know this looks pretty bad to me like this looks pretty bad to me and then like you know we got all this shit in here too i'm gonna vacuum it all out and uh we'll throw the new one in so i thought for the hell of it would pull off the uh check the mass airflow sensor and all the wires look pretty fucking clean to me, so I'm not going to have to worry about that. Uh, so we'll put her back together. Alright, we're just going to do a quick check of the tire pressures, and uh, then we're ready to go. Alright, so I uh, topped up the tires. They were down to, well, three of them were at uh, 30. One was at 25, so it has been colder than usual here lately. And I know that, you know, fuel mileage is definitely affected in the cold weather. So, just to recap what I did, cleaned out the air box, changed the air filter, I checked the mass airflow sensor, and it's clean. Uh, I checked the throttle body and it looked like it had actually been cleaned not long ago, it's, it was spotless. Bumped up the tire pressure to 40 PSI in each tire and that's it. Oh, and I topped up the oil because it was down about half a quart. We'll see if that makes a difference. I hope so because, uh, well, I don't even know if I told you what I measured measured it at i measured my uh fuel mileage i i drove 100 kilometers then i filled up the tank it was 30 liters 30 30 liters per 100 kilometers translates into eight miles per gallon <laughs> that's not fucking good my boss has got like a bus rv with like a 460 in it or something and the fucking thing gets eight miles per gallon so that was a mix of in town and highway driving so that's what we're gonna do today. We should put probably just over 100 kilometers on it today, and uh, then we'll head back to the pump, we'll fill it up, and we'll see what we get. And we'll find out if my couple little things that I did help. I think they'll help a little bit, probably not a lot. I mean, you never know. And also, I wanted to mention during that 100 kilometers, uh, I don't know how much it would affect it, but what I would do is I would come out, I would start the truck, and then I would walk the kids to the bus, and then I would come back and then go to work. So the truck sat and idled for, that was over the course of five days, 15 minutes every morning. So that could add something to do with it too. So that's like 45, uh, an hour, an hour and 15 minutes of idle time. I guess that might have something to do with the poor fuel mileage as well. I guess that'll, that will factor that 
that in uh, too because I'm not going to be doing any more idling than I have to. Uh, we're going to basically just let the car fire it up. We'll let it run for a minute or two, just enough to get everything circulated, and then we'll head off because I don't even really think you know, I don't, from what I've read and from what I've heard lately from people is almost a myth to let your car sit and warm up until the temperature. So anyway, would, tell me what you guys think about that down in the comments. Should I let my car warm up when it's cold out? And how long should I let it warm up for? How long do I need to let it warm up for? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. So I actually just filled the truck up yesterday, I think. I've put on 12.1 kilometers on it since I filled it up. So. We're just gonna go top it up because I want the tank to be full after I did these few small changes. So, uh, well, couple, I guess. I only did the filter and top the oil up, but uh, oh, and pumped the tires. So anyway, go get some gas. So as you can tell there, 6.2 liters to go 12 kilometers. So that's, there's something not right somewhere. Reset the trip meter. Oh, well, after getting stuck looking at fridges at Sears, we're finally on our way. But uh, what I noticed from just sitting at the lights and stuff, this thing seems to be idling a lot smoother with that uh, new air filter in there. I don't know if it's just my head playing tricks on me or what, but it, it really does feel different. So I don't know, maybe we'll see a difference in uh, fuel mileage, but uh, we're just about to get on the uh, highway here and uh, we'll get back to you. I just think that's a normal RPM range for my speed. Yeah, so I'm doing uh, about 65 mile an hour. That's uh, 105 kilometers an hour. My RPMs are running about 1750 to 1800. So if that seems about, I think that seems about right. Not sure what the gear ratio is in this. I have yet to look up the uh, codes in the glove box. I should really do that when I get home. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll do that when I get home and I'll get back to you and let you know. So I definitely think it's going into overdrive. So that's good. Yeah, and it, it feels for sure like it's idling better. I even feels like it's, the engine's running smoother on the highway. So I'm really hoping that the, it was the air filter causing majority of my issues. I'm guessing it wasn't causing all of my issues, but I'm thinking it might have been part of the problem. All right, so 71.3 on the uh, trip meter, 8.05, 8.075 liters. So we'll do the calculations and see what we get. 11.33 liters per 100 kilometers. That is a huge increase so let's put that into miles per gallon that's 20.76 miles per gallon i'd say that's not too bad that's a hell of a lot of uh, a huge improvement versus fucking eight miles per gallon that i was getting before so i'm gonna have to go ahead and say by increasing the tire pressure uh by changing the air filter and topping up the oil i don't know if that would have had anything to do with it um, had a huge effect on fuel mileage. So that's a win. We have solved the problem. <laughs> Fucking awesome. So I'll probably still end up changing the spark plugs once the weather gets a little warmer. And uh, yeah, that's fucking awesome. All right, well, that makes me happy. Doubled my fuel mileage. What are the odds? Anyway, just having some leftover pizza from last night. Ah, just good stuff. Gonna get a Horton's into me. Edit some, uh, some of this video. We got a bunch of bush for uh, later on. Oh yeah. That's good pizza. I'm, uh, that's I'm in a really good mood now. It's about time I got some good news about this truck. So anyways, you guys take it easy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. Don't forget to get in on my giveaway up there. Leave me a comment down below. Love the freaking comments. And uh, hit that thumbs up button. All that good stuff. Until next time, guys. Cheers.